You can cheat. Yes. All right. Yeah. Number yeah. 10, which yeah. conditional statement yeah. has a false biconditional statement? I'll let you read that and think on it and then come up with an answer. If you don't know, just take an educated guess. All right, here we go. So biconditional. The way it means is that the statement itself and its converse won't always be true at the same time. That's okay. basically the idea that it's not true both ways. It's not true. One or the other. Okay, because that's a, which one has a false? A. So a. let's just go across. Uh, Y'all think it's A? Yes. Oh, good. Is it good? Yeah. 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 Now, let me show you why it's A. That makes sense. Let's go to B. If if two angles, and so this time I'm going to switch it. If two angles are congruent, what does it mean if they are congruent? They're the same thing. They have the same measure. So that would be true no matter what. That's true no matter which way you go. If a polygon is a quadrilateral, what does it mean if it's quadrilateral? It has four sides. And it only has four sides. That's a true statement. If two lines are parallel, they do not, they do not intersect. That's true. Now, if two lines do not intersect, they could also be Correct. skewed, though. That's what's a little tricky here. They could also be skewed. They do not intersect. But uh, by conditional, we're, look, we're focusing on the opposite of the statement. If two angles are congruent, they have to be vertical. Yeah. No. Someone give me a counterexample to this. What are two that are congruent that are not vertical? Sublimage. Oh, um, um, alternate interior, yeah. very good. Alternate interior, perfect example. Alternate interior. These two angles here, one and two, these would be congruent, but are they vertical? Mm -hmm. No, that's alternate interior. So that would be a great example. That's answer choice A. All right. 